is Couch Potato Mike and I'm doing something a little bit different today. I am doing a food review! That's right! You haven't seen me do one of these in a while and the last time I reviewed a food it was a fast food, the Popeye's Chicken Sandwich Review, which actually kind of rebooted my YouTube channel, got me started going again, and I realized I haven't reviewed anything edible in quite some time. The closest I've come since would be that uh, Sour Patch Kids Funko Pop. But that doesn't really count. This is a very dirty banana. Whose banana is this? Anyway. So today, I was in a store where everything is a dollar, yet I saw no trees. Can't remember the name of the place. But anyway, and I saw this stuff right here. What is this, you ask? This is 2% reduced fat milk from Gossner Foods. And the funny thing about this milk is I found it on the counter on a shit on oh, not on the counter on a on a shelf not in the refrigerated area. This was just out on the shelf with the other dry goods and stuff like that, which made me think are the people at this store completely retarded that they stocked the milk on the shelf instead of in the refrigerated area? Apparently not, because it says on the back of this about Gossner Milk. The Gossner family has been producing quality dairy products for over 50 years. Gossner Milk is specially packaged to stay fresh, safe, and pure without refrigeration while unopened. Uh, because of the special packaging and the long shelf life, this milk is the perfect choice for breakfast, school lunch, hiking, biking, camping, travel, food storage, and emergency preparedness. And if anybody's been a fan of mine long enough, they know that I got my humble beginnings as part of a prepper podcast called the Survival Punk Podcast, which I don't even know if it still exists or not. Uh, it's supposed to, but the Survival Punk James, I'm not sure if he's been putting out uh, episodes. I left the show a while back. I wasn't kicked off. I didn't really quit. I just kind of went on hiatus because, you know, YouTube, and I'm putting all my focus there. Because I love showing you guys this. But, back to the review. So, it says to serve chilled, right there. So I brought this home and I put it in the refrigerator. Because I'm not going to drink room temperature milk. So, I am going to go ahead and pop this open. I would say take it out and play with it, but I don't play with my milk. <laughs> so, that I unscrewed that and looking down in there. Okay, there's a aluminum foil thing that, when I opened it, it cut into it. I guess that's intentional. So why don't we just pour ourselves, well, myself, you can't drink any, some of this right here. Now, first thing I will tell you is that this does, in fact, look like milk. It is a white liquid. That's always a good start. It has no smell to it. Of course, then again, my sinuses are going, so I couldn't smell a skunk next to me. Ah, down the hatch. Well, it's milk. Nothing spectacular about it. It's not bad. It's actually surprising, considering that uh, until I put it in the fridge, it was um, on the shelf. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know how long this stuff lasts, so let me see here. I bought it today, and today is April the... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. My kids have been living in a bubble for weeks. Today is <laughs> April the 19th, and it says best used by March the 21st of 2021. I've never seen milk with a year-long expiration date before, but there you have it. So, yeah, this, this stuff ain't bad. And if it lasts as long as it says it does, it actually would be good for, like, survival pre preparedness and emergencies and food storage and stuff like that. Uh, because you don't have, actually have to refrigerate it until after it's open. Maybe I should have opened it first and then put it in the refrigerator. But like I said, I didn't want to drink shelf temperature milk. New easy to open can. Can? <laughs> nice like a, can you got there. Looks like a carton. 
This is cardboard. <laughs> New easy open can. No pull tab. <laughs> it's a carton. <laughs> Twist to break inner seal. There's a seal in there? <laughs> Poor little guy. Oh, the ball fell off his nose. But anyway, <laughs> that's uh, that's all that's going to do it. Uh, that's that's uh, to your health. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode. So stay tuned uh, to the Couch Potato Mike YouTube channel for more weird crap than off the wall videos that you don't see me do in my kitchen very often anymore. Were the dishes done? Yeah. All right. So it doesn't look that bad behind me. So for the Couch Potato Mike YouTube channel, this is Couch Potato Mike reminding you as always <laughs> that life is an experiment. And your results may vary. I almost said that it's perfectly okay to take it out and play with it, but I'm not unboxing a pop right now. So, to your health. Got box milk? <laughs>